Niagara is the country's leading manufacturer of water conserving plumbing products, including toilets that reduce water usage by up to 60 percent. Niagara products were originally designed just for plumbing professionals, but they're now available for homeowners as well. So if you're remodeling your home or constructing new, check out NiagaraCorp.com to get long lasting water savings. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Isaiah Standback back in the building for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. And y'all hear the voice right there. That's my big dog, no other than Big <laughs> Nate Dog. And Nate Dog, we've been telling people we was gonna bring a guest in. Yeah, I know they got it. They've been hearing our mouth. You know, the draft was coming up. We've been talking a lot of football, and we're gonna talk more football today. But we have to. Make sure that everybody knows who our guest is. I know he's sitting over kind of swole, trying to try to swell up on us yeah, one time, Nate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's uh, Brent Chapman with My NIL, NIL Pay. My NIL That's Pay, right, and yeah. we'll get into that. How you doing today, man? I'm doing great. How you are good? you guys? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. How are you feeling? The draft just happened. You feeling good? Yeah, I'm from Western New York, okay. so uh, I'm a Western Bulls, where Western New York. New York. And what yeah. what what is what is what is in Western, Western. New York? Buffalo. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, all right. All hey, right. Hey, what's your what's your history with Buffalo? Yeah, let's. Uh, you know, it's, it's very fruitful. <laughs> it is yeah. very fruitful. So, <laughs> so believe me, when I go through Buffalo, uh, the snow gets out the way, uh, oh, baby. Yeah, Buffalo roll, right. huh? Yeah, it gets warm real quick. <laughs> it is fair to say that Nate had a part in ruining my mm. childhood. Oh. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, that was uh, yeah, man. Pretty, I, I always good tell you, man, the kids be weary, boy. They just the boogeyman <laughs> coming to get you. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, a lot of things have been happening here lately. We've been talking about the draft. Okay, we'll get to the M I N F N I L. I'm gonna get used to saying this. Yeah, N I L. Okay, we got a lot to talk about as far as N I L. But my N I L pay. Um, that's gonna be what we're gonna be touching on. Okay, but in terms of what just took place, Nate, I can't go to the draft yet. We can't talk why? about the draft yet. You know why? Why? <clears throat> Oh, 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 the Seattle who? Yeah, you know what it that's is. Seattle yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Seattle Yeah, that's Seattle Mariners. Call your boy Ludwig. Call Ludwig. <laughs> that's Where Seattle Ludwig. Mariners. That's who we should have on the show what today. What they say? Seattle, this, is a, this is a crack house. Oh, oh yeah, okay, crack okay, house. okay. That's right. What they, exactly is a kraken? A cra- <laughs> what? What? That's a sea monster, man. Nobody knows. We only know about, what, what 3% of what's in the ocean, Nate? Yeah. You don't know what's out there. Yeah, that, you know, but you know, you I know, know a kraken out I know, there. I know the Dallas Stars found out. <laughs> Okay, the Dallas oh, Stars found out about oh, the dog. No, no. That's all I know. All I know is the Dallas Stars had to find out the hard way. You going to do it the easy way? We're right. going to do it the, right. hard the hard way. way. Yeah. They did it the hard way. Okay? So how did that end up? How, how did they? What game was one. Game one. Okay, at the time of this, at this airing, this filming. Okay, game one has taken place. Okay, we, right. game one was a great game. Seattle. I think they might have broke a record. Seattle scored three goals in a fifty-two second span. Ooh. Was Three Dallas goal. on the ice? Dallas was on the ice. Oh, we, scored, we scored two goals in 11 seconds, and we scored yeah. a third goal in 52 within the 52-second window. Wow. They, they, their hair was spinning. They, they didn't know what was coming out. They just, the crack. They, they like more to come back, finish. Right, right, yeah, right. So, so, so Dallas came back. Dallas came back. We went to overtime, but, you know, we had to take care of business. And, you know, so, see, y'all beat them. Three, five to four. My final score was five to four. A lot of points for a, no. for a hockey game. It was amazing. The atmosphere was awesome. The environment was awesome. Mm-hmm. Your boy, your boy, the playmaker, he was in the building too. Yeah, Man, I got a chance yeah. to bump it to him. Um, it was it was a great night for for sports in general. For competition, it was an amazing night. Playoff hockey, I have to say, Nate, playoff hockey is second to none. And I know that that kind but of that, stuff. But saying you agree. have to be present to really enjoy. Man, it all. Nah, you could feel it. You could feel it, man, coming through the TV, even if you're watching at the house. I mean, the intensity as a as a personal trainer and a sports performance guy, train those are the, the hardest working athletes I've ever been around. Okay. They're, there's wow. their their level of intensity. Cause they they play in 45 second spurts. They're on the ice for yeah. 45 seconds at a time and they get off. So right. it's literally empty the tank. Give me everything you have for 45 seconds and we'll get you out of there. Right? So everything that our coaches always ask us to do in football. Right, but in the right. back of our head, we're like, shoot, we got 59 more plays to go. Right, I don't, right. I don't right. know about this dog on the tank, right? In hockey, it's legitimately give me everything you have 100% for 45 seconds and then get me off the ice and then catch your breath. And so how many rotations do they have? They got, I think they got three lines. Yeah, that's right? right. Wow. Three lines. So they have three different three cycles of five players, right? So three starting lineups. So it's five on each side. Five on each side, plus the goalie. Wow. Yep, so six so on the how, ice. How did y'all goalie play? They say in playoff, the goalie becomes goalie so huge. Everything. Goalie's everything. So Dallas's goalie did an amazing job, but he wasn't really challenged in terms of the type of shots were coming at him. 
Um, we just were had hustle plays. That's how we score. Dallas was putting some dog on nice shots on goal, and our goal. Listen was to this just, guy talk about hockey. Listen up, man. Hey, oh, man, he, this, hey. this guy, this, I like this. Man, hey. why, that's why I brought him on this show because I, <laughs> I ain't multi like that. That's hey. multi. Put it like this: our goalie was he was dog on Spider Man last night. He was Spider Man. As I say last night, this is the day we filmed. This okay, show. so now who do y'all who who are y'all in? Playing now, we're still playing the stars. Best of seven series. Best, okay. So, okay. Look, oh, so it's been game one. That was so game y'all one. beat the first set of folks. That's right. The, yes. the defending champs, the Stanley Cup champs from last year. We knocked them out. The Colorado the Her- Avalanche. Oh, knocked them out. Go home. Ooh. Early vacation. So y'all lit down in the mountains and the Avalanche just rolled you know, out Nate, of Nate, here. We didn't. No we didn't even good. go home. Wow. Yeah, the Avalanche. We just we just rolled the Avalanche down to Dallas. That, oh, man. <laughs> you know so, okay, now I'm up to yeah, date. Yeah. I'm not a hockey person, as y'all can tell. My man over there is a hockey hey. per- person. So, we got two hockeys that know hockey. Just saying, man. Yeah, hey. wow. So, Seattle's in the building. I had to say that before we got going into this okay. thing. But, Big Dog, we've been talking about it, right? And we'll get you in here on, on the conversation as well. What's your, what's your NFL team that you rep for? Buffalo Bills. Buffalo Bills, okay. Buffalo who? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Did y'all have a good draft? Um, Ooh, the hesitation, I, Nate. Yeah, he, there, 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 even on your draft, there hesitation Look, dude, there. Yes, <laughs> part of our draft was successful because we jumped up and kind of screwed the Cowboys a little bit and oh. got the guy they wanted. Who was that? The the Dalton Kincaid from Utah. Okay, tight end. Guys tight end. Okay, so, so yeah, we, the guys they wanted me and him wanted someone different. Yeah, we well, did, my down. my philosophy on the draft never changes. So you guys um, aren't you guys aren't rolling with Knox no more. I thought he was your tight end. He, we need we need multiple. We have Josh oh, okay. Allen. He throws it to everybody. Okay, y'all right? got who? We have Josh Allen. You know the Josh. best quarterback you, you, you in know the what, NFL. You know I'm what, sorry, you, you know said what? the best, the best. Oh my gosh, was that like T H E or D A? <laughs> Both. That's see. That's I, I, the I put, that's I, the arrogant of a New York. It's it's Western, the Western New York. Mafia. Where's that's, the table, Nate? Let's with go. The Western New York, Nate. <laughs> wow. Western New York. All right. So I agree that he's in the top five quarterbacks in the league. I can't he's put good. him at number one. Yeah. I cannot put him at number one. Well, I just, that's just my Bill uh, Mafia no, I get it. talking. I get it. What Nate, I'll say is though, and I agree with Nate on this. My philosophy on the draft is unless you're getting a franchise quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, etc. You should always draft offensive linemen or defensive linemen that like in the first round. Okay. And that's what I would do. If I was a GM, I'd be like the Cowboys a few years ago. Like every year it was an offensive lineman, it was an offensive lineman. Yeah. And they proved it out, yeah. right? They had a yeah. sweet line for years. Yeah. And uh, I don't know why my, more people don't do that because that's where it matters. Look at Josh Allen. He struggled last year because he was getting killed. Wow. So You know, you know what? When I, when, I, when I saw your boy, the playmaker, a.k.a. Mr. Michael Irvin, Right, and we talked to that for about fifteen minutes down in the parking garage. He said the same thing. You know what he told me? What? He said he wants a he wanted a big, nasty left yep. guard that eat, sleeps, and boop. Yeah. Yep. That's all he said he eat wanted. Up. Uh, you know, uh years and years I I, I beg for a, a D tackle. I mean, for twelve years literally, I'm like, let's get a big <laughs> D tackle. Now when we need a guard, a guard, not a guard that can play. Not a tackle. A, a guard, just a guy that can get in there, a little bit of athletics, uh-huh. a whole lot of physical toughness, okay. and smart. The good dude's name is Cody Mark. He's from North Dakota. I already had him picked, but, hey, they, they didn't, didn't want they him. They didn't want him. So, okay. So overall, how are you feeling about the draft, Nate? Uh, they got the, the Dallas Cowboys they draft, got the, not the they Bills got the big, no. They got the big greasy. Okay. Uh they got a tight end All right. that can block. Yes. So, uh, and I'm not looking past the draft. I'm not looking past those other guys, more power to them. But the first two guys should play 80, 80% of the time. Agreed. Not no uh, rotation. rotation piece. Yeah, if no. these dudes are rotation pieces, we we, we failed. You missed. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. failed. And so, yeah. okay. my fir- our first two picks, and you shouldn't – a draft is complete all the way through. You know, free agency included. But these first two guys have to have an impact because up until last year, we were getting gashed in every playoff game. Correct. If you wanted to beat the Cowboys, run the football. Last two years. And then if you wanted to really beat the Cowboys, don't let them run at all. Mm. Facts. So Facts. I'm sure. good with this draft. I, I'm, I'm hitting them at a, uh, probably a, a – people talking about a B minus. I got them at an A. I got them at A minus. I got them because – this looks like somebody drafted with with a purpose. Mm. 
Instead of saying, hey, look at, we're going to be Hollywood and, and, yeah. and West Texas or Hollywood and Central Texas, you know. Did you guys have a first round pick in, in Bill's Mafia? Yeah, we did. What'd y'all do with it? We we moved up two spots to yeah. get Dalton Kincaid. Okay, so you guys take the tight end in the first round. Yeah. Okay. Was that y'all's need or was that no. y'all's want? No, I don't think that was the need. So they went I out. think protection for Josh Allen was the need. And they in the second round, they got a big boy from Florida. Osiris, the oh, yeah, yeah, big yeah, yeah, yeah. guard. And he was a first round draft. Yeah, yeah, let let me say something, partner. He had a first round grade. Yeah, first round grade. Let yeah. me say something, partner. Josh Allen is his name. He is his own worst enemy. Mm. Josh Allen better understand running backs, that's what they do, run with the ball. He need to. Stop. He is his own worst enemy. I'm telling you now. He's trying to run people over. And, 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 and the thing though, about man. it, I, 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 <laughs> I don't care. Boy. He has the ability and the arm and now the knowledge yeah. to win games darting it. Yeah. He need to take advantage of that. But you want to show he's tough, Nate. Well, Isaiah, you were a QB. Tell I was us what, a QB. what is it like. I mean, is it? I'll tell you this. I was it, a different type of QB, though. Josh Allen didn't have my speed. Okay. So, so like Josh Allen tries to prove. That he's a big physical being. You I wanted to do that. I man. wanted to outrun you. <laughs> I just I played with cats like you weren't gonna catch me. You know what I mean? And then when you did think that you catch me, I then I I I'd make sure that I'm the hit her instead of the, the hit T. Right? I, I will I will lay a hit. But I had a coach by the name of Tyrone Willingham. Yep. Who told told me to start sliding, and I was like slide. That was, growing up in the hood, Nate. That was, that's a, yeah. that's soft. You know, I ain't sliding. What I look like sliding? I gotta go back in the neighborhood and cats talking about. Oh, you up there just sliding, laying down, not getting, not taking a hit. So I looked at that coach like, you're crazy. And, I, and this is the middle of the game. He said, start getting down. If you don't get down, I'm going to take you out the game. And he had the serious, the most serious look in his face. Right. And there was there was no no doubt that I that, that he was being 100% with me. So I had to start sliding. And I almost blew my knee out trying to slide because I didn't know how to do it the proper, the proper way. I, I trying I just to know this he was trying to protect me because he knew if he lost me, it yeah. was going to be Let me all tell bad. You something, man. Somebody better tell Josh. Start sliding. Because you are the friend, he is a true franchise quarterback. Yeah, he ain't he ain't one of those uh, run first, yep. uh, throw second. Yeah. He can throw absolutely. Yeah, he yeah. better start taking advantage of that. Facts, and they got receivers around him. So yeah, he better, so he better, he better, better start there. taking advantage of that. All right. So, how, what would you give the, the Buffalo Bills grade overall? I mean, I think we only had like five picks or something. Ooh. It so. don't matter what you did with them. How you yeah, feel about I mean, what's your grade? I don't like grading drafts, right? It's so I'm like, I hate to say it, but I'm one of these guys I don't, that I don't, goes, I don't like credit scores, I can, but I gotta have it. I gotta, I can, <laughs> I can, I can grade the draft from Nate was in and okay. whatever that was, right? 90, whatever. Sorry, Nate, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember what you were drafted, but I won drafts, so don't matter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's it. He made but, but the I can grade that draft. Okay. I can grade your draft, but how can I grade something that happened they haven't even put on the pads yet? I agree. So, so I guess it's your perspective. I think they did good. They okay. they, they addressed some needs. Okay. Um, but they, went they got linemen. First. So all right. we'll see. All right. We'll see how it works all right. out. Let's, I think it's up right. here for them. All right. Well, we're going to see what Bill's Mafia does. Cowboys Nation, Nate gave him an A. I gave him an A. You what you going to get Seattle? He always try to get around Seattle. What Seattle, you going to give Seattle? Oh, Seattle got an A. Absolutely. Yeah, Seattle. Who all y'all got? Who I don't even know who they played? drafted. It doesn't matter. It, no, nobody it doesn't ever, matter. Hey, nobody ever knows what Seattle does in the draft, but we're always successful with it. Well, y'all got a nice corner out of Illinois. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Snyder knows what the heck he's doing up there. He yeah. always has. People, listen up. There's a handful of organizations that people try to mimic their style in the draft. Okay. New England's one of them. Yeah. Seattle's another one. Those two teams and Philadelphia now. You have to throw Philadelphia in that hat now. They know how to team yeah, build. They know how to build a dog on roster now. Yeah, they know Kansas, how to team Kansas build. City's proven it, right? Yeah. They, they just keep recycling. Kansas City's doing it, but they Kansas City's sneaky with it. Kansas City's very sneaky with it. But in terms of acquiring draft equity and 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 dropping, you know, obviously acquiring more picks and all that kind of jazz, Seattle. And uh, who did I say? Seattle and uh, what's the other team? I just Philadelphia. Said? Yeah, Philadelphia and New England. And New England, New England, New England, Seattle. They know how to how to accumulate draft. So equity. how about the owner GM? How is he at doing that? You know what? <laughs> people always come at people always come at Double J, and I tell people this: people are frustrated with Double J because the Cowboys haven't won nothing since Nate was there. Okay, but his job he has two jobs to make sure that. 
He has a great head coaching position and make sure that his roster is filled with nothing but talent. Nobody has ever been able to question over the past three, four years true. that Dallas is, hasn't had one of the most talented rosters. Can't question that. That's true. Not physical, mean. Yeah, all those other arrogant, characteristics. You yeah. Can, yeah you but can in terms question. of talent, them, them, they're always stacked now. And I think this is the most aggressive offseason that they've had and most productive going into the draft. And now coming out of draft because they picked up they picked up a, a, a real fullback. Nate, I was yeah. telling people I was telling people on the Cowboys uh, podcast they better what they better, they better change their perspective of Dallas's offense because it's changing. It's going back to old school. Right. It's going back to 12, 22, 21, all those sets. There's not going to be as much 11 and 10 and all the other jazz. You're going to start seeing two tight ends in a game. You're going to start seeing a running back and a fullback in the game. You're going to start seeing two running backs in the game. It's going to change up. They still have real fullbacks. There's, there's, whenever you go out and you acquire a fullback, they didn't draft it, but they signed the number one fullback in the draft. They went and signed him in free agency. His name's something Hunter. He, he's an absolute beast, supposedly, and he likes to run through people's face. They compare him to the fullback out of. Uh, I can't even pronounce that last name. You. Yeah, I'm. I'm I can't. I'm, 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 I'm names to learn here. Hunt, yeah, I can't. I, I got nothing yeah. for you, Nate. But his name's Hunter, and he's supposed to be just like the the fullback out of out of Forty Niners. Because what they try to do today is convert. Tight ends, right? Yeah, to, now, to play that role. It's they not went the out same. and got a dude who it's that's what he same. does. He yeah. where he goes down here and hits people in the mouth, just like your boy Moose. Wow. Go down oh. there and hit hit him in the mouth. So isn't Moose from Buffalo originally? I think huh? was wasn't Moose from Buffalo originally? I think he's from Western. He was from Syracuse, New York, yeah, somewhere yeah. Up, yeah. up there. Yeah, he was, right. he was lost, but now he found himself. But we ain't gonna hold you. We try to keep we try to keep our shows relatively tight because we want people to listen to it all in one sitting. Gotcha. Right? Right. Like, like they in the high, on the highway in traffic. We don't want people to have to pause it, come back to it. So we want to get to this. My NIL pay. What has happened to college sports over the past few years? There's these initials that everybody keeps hearing. NIL. Help people understand what the history was yep. and what's taking place now that's made this NIL thing relevant. And please introduce yourself yeah. again. Yes, my name is Brent Chapman. I'm the CEO and founder of My NIL Pay, which is a new platform that hopefully solves some of this problem that we're talking about or about this space. Yeah. So, what is NIL? NIL is name, image, and likeness. Essentially, it's the ability for college student athletes to earn money while they're playing sports, right? By selling their name, image, and likeness. So, when you're in the NFL or you're a professional sports athlete, you get paid on your jersey or if you're in the video game or if you show up for an autograph signing or you do something, right? Yes. In college, before July of 2021, you did not. So you're saying that Nate's college and my college I'm saying, made money off of us. Yeah. I'm saying that when you were a player of the year for right. your school, you wow. probably would have gotten some serious uh, bread. bread. Okay. Yes, che uh, Cheese, cheddar. All yes, that. all that. <laughs> Dough. No, there you yeah, go. Yeah, whatever. All right. <laughs> whatever you want to put on it. Okay. Uh, um, and, and I think people can argue whether, you know, that's fair or not, right? But uh, How much money would Reggie Bush had made in college? I mean, millions, right? Millions. Because this is what these guys are getting now, right? I th three, four, five million dollars a year. And so how would we know? How would we know? What I'm, what I'm asking is, you got the ability to make all of this legal. Yes. Whereas Reggie Bush still made millions, but it was illegal. They yeah, took his that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So how do how do we so, look at this and explain us? How do we do this right so the kids will yeah. be safe and the in the in the colleges will be safe? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll kind of explain where it went initially, okay. and then kind of where we come in. Right. So how it initially started was the idea and concept. I believe they thought was all that stuff we just talked about from right. a professional level. Bring that mm -hmm. to college. So get a shoe deal, Bryce Young or, you know, Arch Manning can get, right. you know, that be on some trading cards right. and video games and that type of stuff. Sure. Right. Um, and, and that was fine at first. And that's kind of when that was about uh, about 14 months ago, I came up with the concept of this company. And I was like, all right, that's great for 5% of the student athletes. You, the, you guys, the top yep. guys that, right. that go pro. Right. But what about. 
um, women's athletics? What about D2? What about D3? Uh, lower D1? What about the Olympic sports? Those kids aren't going to see any of this sponsorship right, money. Right. So our app was created for them. And then as it transpired in between now and the time that I built the product, um, the, the life of the collective mm. came into play. And the collective uh, is essentially a, a group not affiliated with the university, and they're very careful to make sure that they're not. They raise money. It can be for-profit or non-profit. So the non-profit is tax-deductible money. And then they will um, create events for the athletes to participate in so that they can pay them that money. Hmm. So you'll hear things like they're going to pay the guy $200,000 a year. So they'll schedule, you're going to go to these five charity events and do these things and you're going to get paid on each one. So like an agency. Yes. So what my NIL pay does is kind of cut all that out. So we are a platform that allows fans to legally and NCAA compliant direct pay student athletes. Gotcha. So, I mean, I could show you how it works. Oh yeah, let's, like. let's go. Yeah, this is awesome. So, Nate, um, let me first uh, let me record this screenshot. G- give me the name of a player that a college guy. Oh, man, anyone? I don't know. Nate, no, don't know. All right, you Michael Pinex Jr. Yeah, right. yeah, I don't, you I don't give know. Me, is that one I can spell so you guys can Michael, see? Michael M I C. So I go in here and I just do the search M I C H A E L. Yeah, and Pinex P E N I X. And X. There he is, there Michael Pinex Jr., University of Washington. Okay. So you be click the, him. He, there he is. Heisman winner this year. Wow. Just yeah, right there. There he is. See him? Yeah, show him to our well, fans. They, they're going to have the screen. They're, they're watching yeah. what we're doing wow. right here. So all I do is I hit direct pay athlete. I say, I want to send Michael 50 bucks. I hit review, <clears throat> send direct payment. There's my summary. I pay sales tax. We'll get into that in a minute. Remember, wow. I just talked about tax yeah. deductible. No, no, no. We're giving Uncle Sam and Texas State their money. That's very important. Uh, We hit pay. I picked my credit card. Right. And that is it. Michael got fifty dollars. They just live. Just sent Michael fifty bucks. You see that? You You see that? Don't say I never did nothing for y'all, University of Washington. Uh, there you go. Well, y- I actually did it. Yeah, I did. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm kind of like John Stockton. He was Carl Malone. Your partner, your partner Tom, uh, who set all of this up, yep. he he sent us a link. And I, you know how I am. I'm so scared about stuff. Like, yeah, link, yeah. even with your deal, with your, you know, yeah, my yeah, wife yeah, signed yeah. it. And then she signed it. I didn't send it. My wife signed yeah, it. Yeah, and I, it. Because I'm so nervous. That was too simple, man. Yeah, it's super easy. No, oh, that's that, it. That was too simple. If I knew it was that simple, I would have I picked me a kid out. Uh, yeah. Deion Sanders. Kid so, who's a quarterback. You didn't know, yeah. Absolutely. So, so that's right. But he's getting over a meal. So yeah, he getting money. He getting <laughs> he's money. okay. He doesn't he's need okay. my 50 bucks. So <laughs> scenario. Okay. Big Nate Newton. Okay. Comes out. Boom. He pulls on the dog on toss play. Comes out and just totally just murders the safety. Okay. Runs, runs straight through the safety's face. Running back. Walks straight in. Play would have never happened if Nate didn't do it. Right. Somebody's like, man, that was a heck of a block by Nate. Man, let's take care of Nate. 20 Get bucks. On that. Boom. Let me send him 20 bucks real right. quick. You got it. Just like that. Yep, just like that. That quick. That took all of 30 seconds. What and- what this gentleman has done is if any player, Division One, Two, Three, Black College, whatever, Power Five. Doesn't matter. He has you in. Your in kid, it. male, female, or whatever, is in there. Yep. As long as they're a college athlete, student athlete. NCAA. Yes. Gotcha. Wow. And how does this tie to the NCAA? How is this connected to them? I think the the a good question is how is this compliant? Compliant. There you go. Because people people watching are gonna wait a minute. That yeah, you just yeah, yeah. pay. That's no different Absolutely. than a hundred dollars in a happy. Correct. Meal. Handshake. Right. Yeah. A hundred dollar handshake. Uh, so what we do in exchange for that payment is so the athlete will receive an email okay. that says hey. So he'll get that. That's a Brent sent you 50 bucks. He'll go in and sign up for the app and put in his checking account info. Uh, And then the money is transferred. What we do is we send a unique piece of digital art with his name and digital signature on it. Yes, yes. That is the quid pro quo. Mm. That is the athlete is signing the piece of digital art. And that's no different than if he signed a football. Correct. Right. Okay. Now, 
What's very important is the NCAA also says it has to be a a fair market value transaction. So you can't Mm. sign a napkin and sell it for a million dollars, right? Well, do you know what the IRS says the fair market value of an NFT is? Mm -mm. Whatever the buyer and seller agree on. Right, right. So if you want to send this young man $50 or $500 or $5,000, That is permissible. Whatever you value it at. Whatever you and the player value it at is what can be sent. This is the game changer, guys. Absolutely it is. This is what, more importantly, this is what gets all student athletes. So you talk about Title IX, right, and I'm right. telling you, I've talked to a lot of collectives across the country. If it weren't for my nail pay in two or three years, you're going to hear tons of Title IX issues. Right. From no fault of their own, the collectives don't have the resources right. to focus on all the sports. So they only focus on the big ones, basketball and football. And so all those women's athletics are left out. All those non-Olympic mm-hmm. sports are left out. So in two or three years, when all the money flowing in from the collectives is coming to men's sports, there's going to be a Title IX issue. We fix that today. We're not waiting three years. There you go. We fix it right now, and we solve that problem for the underserved athlete. <laughs> wow. Well, That's awesome. You know – that was too simple how you signed up like that. So I'm 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 gonna try that. I'm I'm gonna try to look into some that. of the best so ideas. Y- y- y'all see me looking. I'm looking simple. over there at Tom. He's, I mean, he's a he's a below. He physically vertically challenged. But don't worry about yeah, that. Anyway, could, you think he could add you back into that system so people could? No, I could. Pay I you? could put him in as an alumni. Uh, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, you don't, sure? Don't do we that, could, man. It could be don't like throw an Easter egg. Whatever money y'all have, throw me in there. Whatever money y'all have, put me in as an alumni. Just think about me and. Man, <laughs> Should I, I put I Jake mean, Locker in there too? No, nah, Jake's that? good. He got he's oh, first he's round. He's top there. He good. He good. <laughs> Jake Jake got the money. I, I should have got huh? Jake quarterback Luke. that came after me. You know what, man? You always bragging on yourself. Man. I didn't say. You I said he came after me. That's true. That's not bragging. I mean, That's even facts. when we brought up Josh Allen, oh, hey, hold on, hold on. Josh, yeah, Josh Allen, is not the best there. quarterback. You know that. You know, I'm talking about, oh, he couldn't run with me. He ain't got my no, speed. He, he doesn't. He probably run what four seven, four six, maybe. He wasn't no four three. That is true. Come on, Nate. They just now starting to value cats like me. He was ahead. What what he's saying is he was ahead of his time. Lamar Jackson, hundred and eighty-five million dollars guaranteed, because he runs a four-three and he got a cannon. Oof. True. I tell you, right here, and I'm happy for Lamar. You know, and I'm happy that you work with your team, so they can they can can continue to accumulate talent around you. Uh, so I'm happy for Lamar, but boy, he is that that him. Uh, what was the kid back years ago, man? Michael Vick. Oh yeah, he started. That, yeah. Was, did you have, you was you was in that Nick, type? McNair, of speed? Vick. No, I'm talking about speed wise. Oh Vic yeah, 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 yeah. And you yeah. and Lamar yeah. has okay. that type of speed. So you so I don't know if you saw Tyreek Hill ran a ten ran a ten four mm-hmm. about a month ago on the track, right? People were kind of well, laughing. Yeah. He ran a ten four. That's what I ran in college. Wow. Nate, you was, like that. was did you play against Randall Cunningham? Was he fast? Yeah, I played against Randall. Randall was kind of smooth, yeah, not yeah, like yeah, yeah it kinda, was different yeah. kind of yeah, speed. I mean, yeah. He he, he yeah. could get out there because yeah. he was like these so guys, he, he was so good. He swear by yeah. him. But no, wow. real real quick, man, before we get ready to head out, of, what help us understand the sales tax? Why sales tax? Right? We understand you explained the the what you had the exchange right yeah. and the value in terms of getting a digital receipt. Okay, and that's the compliant now because that's some form of actual exchange between the athlete and the giver. Okay, now help us on the sales tax. Why does it have to be sales tax on it? So it's important to note that my background is prior to um, doing this. I was the uh, chief information officer, head of IT for three different financial services institutions. So most heavily regulated industry, CFPB, all that. And what I've learned is the best thing to do in these situations, and this is such a wild, wild west, People are going to get in trouble for what they're doing. You're just starting to see it a little bit now. Just be the first guy out there that does everything. So we help every student athlete, and we're now a regulated control platform. So it is a taxable, trackable transaction. So every month I send the university all the data that I have. Mm. So if you got money, who you got it from, when you got it, and how much I send to the university. Now, right. help us understand from the privacy standpoint, why does the university need to need to know how much money Michael Penix Jr. is making? So they're actually 
legally and within the so there's kind of two sets there's the state local federal laws and then you have the school rules in the ncaa they're required to disclose every dollar they get back to the university yes and every contract report all your handshakes mate Mm, no we we ain't getting in that time Hey, you, hey, we do know that, Eric yeah. Dickerson got a Trans Am. Yeah. We're aware of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we. Yeah, they can't try to know how no money yeah, handshake. Yeah, yeah, man, no. five or six dollars ain't gonna do nothing for you. That's a tip. But, but I am <laughs> gonna. T- you I, get a McFlurry. That's yeah. about it. So eventually, somebody gonna get got. So, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Now you know how it works. They're gonna pick somebody they don't like, of course, or a big school that out they want to make an example yeah. out of. Uh, but there's a lot of people. Even the like, look. And my conversations with all these different collectives and universities, 98% of these, 99% of them are trying to do the right thing. Okay. That's very important, I okay. think. They're all trying to help the kids or trying to do the right thing. But you got a few turkeys in there, Absolutely, too. Absolutely, always. And say things that make me go, what the? What, what advantage does a university gain from this? Why? Why would the university want to get on board with this? I'll tell you what ADs have told me okay. about my app. They... They basically say, this is awesome for fan engagement. Hmm. You said it. I'm sitting in the, in the, watching the volleyball game or watching the soccer game, the women's soccer game, and I can just, what a great shot, what a great save. And I can thank or I can mm-hmm. appreciate mm-hmm. that athlete in real time as it happens, Mm. right? You can, as an alumni or a fan, contribute to an athlete that you couldn't do before. Let's be honest. NIL is for big corporations and wealthy donors. It's not for average Joe that's grabbing a beer watching the game after working the nine to five. That's not who it's for. Now it is. Now it is. Now it is. Concern. It just popped in my head, right? Is there any way for the, the payee, right, to have direct communication with an athlete? No. So I actually got a, a message on Instagram from an athlete that received some money from a fan and said, hey, how can I thank the fan? Which I thought was awesome, right? And I, I explained to them that we could not do that. Yeah. And the reason we can't do that is liability reasons, yeah, right? Really, right. And now, what if a kid go into the portal? Mm. Say a freshman that That's got a great money question. like the kid from Texas. You know, the quarterback, the Manning kid. Yep. What if he going to the portal next year? How do you how do you keep up with that? Uh, do you – as it doesn't matter because it'll catch up with him eventually? That's a great question, and it answers – a lot of people ask this question. So how we make sure there's no fraud with my, my NIL pay is you have to meet two criteria. You have to be on your official university's roster sports page. Right. So you have to be on the university page, and you have to have a .edu. Can't use Gmails in our app. Ooh, like old school Facebook. Yeah. But it, it but it keeps them safe. Yes. Because think about it. From a technology perspective, we're using the university as yep, the layer so of protection. Yeah. So yep. you would have to break into the university to, yeah, to hack right. these Smart. kids. So how does that work, the transfer portal? So if you're still on the old university's rostered page, then and you're still represented as part of that university and still have a .edu there, then people can send you money to that yeah, university, yeah. right? You're, you're, you're listed with them. Yeah. When you move universities and you have, you're have you on a different rostered page, you will be removed from that and be on the new one. But they shut down that email quick. And they shut it down quick. Yep. Yep. Okay, yeah. That's awesome. Sweet, man. Well, well, what do you want the people to know that you haven't already told us? That's a great question. I didn't actually uh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think about that. that. I, I think I think what I I think my NIL pay will be a difference maker that will help these student athletes. With anything, it's about awareness, right? It's about people knowing that this exists, right? So what I would say is download it, use it, pay somebody that from your alma mater or a D2 or D3 school, support them and let people know about it so that we can help these student athletes. Because if we don't spread the word, Mm -hmm. then it's just a great idea. Tell us again who you are and what you represent and tell us the name of the app. Yes. Slowly. (laughs) <laughs> Nate, Nate Speed, how Nate walk. I want people to know something good. I, I, that's my issue. I don't like the NCAA, yeah. but when they do something good, I have to give them that same passion. 
And if they are part of something yeah. good, which you are doing something good, I want, you know, because I've, I've been a killer of the NCAA. Yeah. Now you're linking into something that can really help students. Thanks. I want to hear about it. At Dear NCAA, I do not support Nate's opinions on the NCAA. <laughs> yeah, don't I love, you, that's right, I he love the NCAA, yeah, I do and I want to help some them love very for much. this right here. Yeah, this is awesome. uh, yes, uh, Brent Chapman. Uh, you can look me up on LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. I'm all there if you want to reach out. Uh, name of the app is My NIL Pay. M Y N I L P A Y. You can download it in the iTunes or the App, app Store, store yeah. Apple App Store, or Google Play Store. Or go to www.mynilpay.com, but we built it as an app. Yeah. So your best experience is going to be on your mobile device. Right. What was your mission? Real quick before we get, what was your initial mission? What was your thought process and why did you do this? I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah. My my son is in middle school. He's a, a good football player. We go to national camps. Okay. And I met some young gentlemen that had some NIL money. And the stories that they were sharing with me, I'm like, nah, this ain't right. This ain't right. And if it's happening to these guys who are quarterbacks of universities, then then it's really bad for everyone else. And then I started to look into it. But if you look deep at the companies that are in this space today, they're taking 30, 40 percent from these kids. It's there. We take and we don't even take the athlete gets 90 percent of what's paid. It's awesome. Three percent goes to the credit card company for processing. Mm -hmm. Three percent goes to the bank. As a reserve, because I'm an because I'm an NFT, I give ten percent of net profits, which is but roughly one percent, back to the university's athletic department, and I keep three to run a company. Nice. So I'm I'm in this for the student athletes to help the student athletes. Awesome, Thank you. Awesome. Uh, now, yeah. like I say, I've not always been a big fan of the NCAA. You know that I say. Yeah. But when you are a part of something good, yep. I have to give love. Awesome. I, and I am so glad you've joined with this gentleman to help the student athlete. Thanks. I mean, I, you took care of Isaiah because he was a quarterback. No, you didn't no. Take <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey. It's because he ran a 4 3. Oh, how many handshakes hey. did you get, hey, Isaiah? You know, I stayed back. in the house, Nate. Dog. I stayed in the house. I was you know, watching how we never get those questions answered, yeah. Nate and Isaiah. Those <laughs> never come up. up. Awesome. Kudos to what you're doing. Yes. Kudos to my NIL pay. Uh, what you're doing is amazing. I wish I had it when I was in college. My rent, Nate, was seven fifty five. Wow. Right? In college, my one bedroom apartment was this is a long time ago. Yeah. Seven fifty five. My scholarship check was seven forty eight. So yeah, this this, this would have went a long way in yeah. terms of my college experience. Cause there's a lot of top ramen and a lot of dog oodles and noodles when I was growing up. And, and to say to state that is very important. Think about this: we're not talking about millions and dollars for these kids, five hundred bucks, thousand bucks extra a semester for these kids, D two, D three, or even for you, makes a huge difference. Because mm-hmm. Isaiah Stanback will make a dollar holla. I see him cut a penny. <laughs> I seen him cut a penny in the four feet. Get the four feet. Hey, well, you can take a penny and cut it in four ways. Some of this a pence. I'm Lord, not doing geez. it. Hey. Brent, thank you very much, man, thank for coming guys. on the show, really man. Appreciate Y'all it. hear Nate Dog as always. <laughs> hey, what did you say? Niagara, we've done what? Yeah, we flushed another we one. We flushed another one, man. We appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all next time on Let Me Tell You Something. Yeah. Nate and I would like to thank the Niagara Corporation for sponsoring today's episode of Let Me Tell You Something. Niagara is the country's leading manufacturer of water-conserving plumbing products, including toilets that reduce water usage by up to 60%. Niagara products were originally designed just for plumbing professionals, but they're now available for homeowners as well. So if you're remodeling your home or constructing new, check out NiagaraCorp.com to get long-lasting water savings.